Hello people, welcome back. This two marks question is from gate exam of 2018. Let me first read the statement, then I'll provide its solution. It says, consider the unsigned 8-bit fixed point binary number representation below, where position of the binary point is between B3 and B2. Assume B7 is the most significant bit. Some of the decimal numbers listed below cannot be represented exactly in above representation. So they have given you four decimal numbers. Let us do one thing. Let us check which of these four can actually be represented in this number system. Okay. Look, they are saying we are using 8-bit unsigned fixed binary point representation. That means you cannot move this red X point. It has to stay here. There are only three bits for the fractional part and there are exactly five bits for representing the actual number. First one is 31.5. Can we represent this number in this number system? See, 31 can be written as 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1. So 31 can be represented in five bits. Okay. 31 can be represented here. Now let's see if 0.5 can be represented in three bits. Yeah, we can actually represent 0.5 in three bits. Rather 0.5 needs only one bit. Okay, so this is how you write 31.5. How to save this number in this representation? Just add two zeros. Okay, so B0 will be zero, B1 will be zero, B2 will be one, rather all of these bits from B7 to B2, all of these bits will be one. Okay, just these two bits are zero and you will not save this position of red X point because it's implicit that we'll have a red X point here. See, this number is saved like this. Whenever you want to retrieve the number, you'll automatically just divide it from here and this part will be considered as fractional part. Unlike floating point numbers, you cannot just move this red X point, okay? In floating point, we just multiply with two raised to the power something and we can just move this red X point because that's not allowed here. Such number systems are very easy to implement, okay? You don't have to worry about exponent and all. So option A, we can represent it, okay? Option B is 0.875. 0 can be represented here, so 0 0.875. Let us check if 0.875 can be represented in three bits. Yes, we can represent it. 1, 1, 1. This is how you write 0.875. How do I know it is 0.875? See, value of this bit is 0 0.5. Okay, this one is for 0 0.5. This one is for half of 0 0.5, which is 0 0.25. This one is for half of 0 0.25, which is 0 0.125. So all of these three bits are on. That means all of these values will be added. 0 0.5 plus 0.25 plus 0 0.125. Okay, so add these numbers you are going to get 5, 7, and 8, okay. So the answer is 0 0.875. That means this number actually represents 0 0.875, okay. So can we represent it in this representation? Of course, because these three bits will be 1 and all of these bits will be 0. This will be 0 0.875. Now let us see option C, okay. In option C, the number is 12.1. See, 0 0.1 cannot be represented. You can represent 12 because 12 is double one, double zero. So double zero, double one. This is 12. That means you can make B7 as zero. We have represented 12, but its fractional part will be very long in binary number system to represent 0 
in binary you will require 1 2 3 you will require 4 yeah you will require 4 uh, decimal places or let's call it binary places see let us find out how will this decimal number be represented in binary it will be 2 okay so this number is 0 0.2 that means after decimal first value is 0 now again add 0, uh, 0.2 to this number I am adding 0.2 here this becomes 0 0.4 okay so this 0 will be the second value after the decimal again add 0.4 it will be 0.8 okay so third value will also be 0 and we support only 3 bits after the decimal that means if you want to save 12.1 in this number system suppose you save 12.1 when you will retrieve, you will see it as 12.0. That means whenever we save some, some value 0.1, whatever the value will be retrieved or the value that will actually be saved is that number 0 0.0. Okay. So something 0.1 cannot be saved in this number system. We need to have at least 4 bits. Okay. So still we can't save the exact value 0.1. See, if you add 0.8 to 0.8 you will get a 1 here and here it will be 0.6 still you will add 0.6 that means a lot of bits will be required even in 4 bits 0.1 cannot be exactly be represented see if you have 4th bit on its value will be 1 2 3 4 so its value will be 1 upon 2 raised to the power 4 which is 1 upon 16 you will represent this value okay 0.1 cannot be exactly represented in 4 bits also anyways we have seen that option c is not represented in this number system let us now focus on option d can 3 be represented in 5 bits of course 3 can be represented in 2 bits also so 3 is 1 1 that means 1 1 and all of these three bits can be zero. Okay. 11.0001. One, one zero, zero, one. In decimal also it requires three bits. How can it be represented in binary in three bits? 0 0.001 is very small value. Actually, if you convert it in binary, if you convert 0 0.001 from decimal number system to binary number system, you'll have a lot of zeros. It will be 0 0.0000000. There will be a lot of zeros. Okay. We don't need the exact value because of course the first three bits are zero. Okay. So whenever you make these three bits zero, you actually saving 3.0. Okay. We are not saving 3.001. You can also try to convert this number. So 0 0.001 when added to itself. will give you 0 0.002 okay so the first bit after decimal is 0 that means this bit will be 0 again you add this 0 0.002 plus 0 0.002 will be 0 point something only okay so this bit will, will also be 0 it is 4 okay again add 0 0.4 sorry it's 0 0.004 okay still you will get a 0 here then it will be 8. You add those numbers, still it will be a 0. There will be a lot of zeros until you get more than 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. When you add 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, only in that, that case you will get 1 point something. Okay, so that will be a lot of zeros. That means this can't be represented in this representation. Okay, 12.1 also can't be saved exactly in this representation. We can save this number, but precision will be lost okay so both a and b can be saved exactly so let us see which option is correct so the option which says a and b can be saved option one is none of them can be saved so that is incorrect option b says only two can be exactly represented no one can also be exactly represented option c says 
only three and four cannot be exactly represented. This is correct. Only three and four cannot be exactly represented. So answer is option C. Okay.